Have you ever been asked why you keep such a large amount of money in the bank? Well, KeyBank just called me a little bit ago. Jeff, I believe he's the manager. And he asked me, he said, is there any reason why? First he asked me, he said, hi, Miss Oliver. He said, I just wanted to update your um, beneficiary. Like, could we set up a time for you to come in so that we could list your beneficiary or whatever? And I'm like, I don't have one. And he's like, okay, so you don't have a trustee or anything. Like, there's no one you would like to list. And I'm like, no. And he was like, well, can I ask why you keep such a large amount of money in the bank? And I'm like, <laughs> well, actually, I ordered 16000 last week. So I'm going to be making a withdrawal. And he's like, oh, okay, I didn't see that in the notes. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, well, if that's the case, you know, you don't have any beneficiaries or trustees that you want to add he was like that's fine he was like that's all i needed to know so here's the update over the last i don't know week i've been talking to a lot of car dealers i haven't been able to record those phone conversations because i only have one phone now <laughs> remember i was making phone calls with that q leak phone <laughs> and recording voice recording with this iphone here but now that this iphone is unlocked i went and got it unlocked i don't know friday or saturday um today is the 31st of january but i went and i got it unlocked and when i got it unlocked, i put the q link i'll let her know i just got a test message um i put the q link Um, SIM card in here so now I'm using this it's a functional phone like you know I was using a hotspot from the library and all kind of stuff um, for Wi-Fi because of the interruptions that I was experiencing when using that this SIM card in that phone like it was being attacked so badly but now it's functional like I haven't turned the hotspot on and I don't know <laughs> since I got the SIM card um, or since I got the phone unlocked. So I've been talking to a lot of um, look at all this fat. That's just fat. But I've been talking to a lot of car dealers. Haven't been able to record any of those conversations. Um... But I have two vehicles I'm looking at. I'm supposed to go test drive one here in Akron today. The other ones are out of state. One is in Pennsylvania. One is in Virginia. Um, recently, I reserved a rental. I had to go through a couple of, jump a couple of hoops to get a refund. Because it allowed me a purchase with my debit card. But then... When I went to pick up, they wanted me to have a credit card on me. And that was not. It just didn't work out. Um, and you know, I read all the terms and conditions of things. And it was never supposed to. I just washed my hair. This gray on this side, they put it overnight yesterday. There was no gray on this side of my hair. And they had this patch here. It's so bad. They know I'm about to go get it treated, so they broke it really bad. Um, and I have the same thing that the salon has. Like, I have the professional jugs. And they've been acting like it ain't that. Um... So, yeah, that's where the cars are. I don't know. By the middle of February, I'll have one. And like I said, I got this large amount of cash coming. For that reason, you know, um, cash is more attractive to...
car dealers and it's supposed to help with the deal. But so far I so far I haven't found anything and I've done a lot a lot of searching. Okay, like it's never been so hard to find a car. And I'm getting something that I've had before. Um Yeah, it's just, the car search thing has been like completely it's been going it has not been going well. So I have to um I'm trying to think. I guess I just wanted to update on the car situation because I don't have any of those voice recordings. Um it's difficult with dealers because um you expect them to know the vehicle. And it's not like none of the vehicles that I looked at are at like a mainstream dealership. They're all like little side dealers. So and that's not the route I wanted to go, but I haven't, like I said, I haven't found anything, especially in the price range that I'm willing to spend. So, um, we'll see. 